Hi, I'm Ray from the Radio Workshop and this, can you see that nicely there, look at that, that's a, an R1155, move my coffee, communications <laughs> receiver, this is an 1155A by one here, uh, made by Marconi, as used in the Lancaster aircraft in the 40s, I think also Halifax aircraft, not too sure, anyway look at that, it works. I think that's, I don't know what that is, that's just over, just above six megs. I don't know whether it's a pirate, because they tend to hang out there. It's Dutch, <laughs> so it could well be a pirate. But, um, nice piece of kit. I've built the power supply. Uh, you, some of you might recognise this. This is an old CB power supply box, um, which is rather nice. It had the switch on, and uh, there are a couple of terminals there. Anyway, I fitted it all fitted rather nicely. The uh, the mains transformer and uh, the rest of the bits and pieces, smoothing caps and that. Um, I know that some people have built a power supply in in like the speaker box, also with an audio amp. Well, I've built an audio amp inside the the receiver itself, and then this is the the speaker jack here, the jack socket. One thing about the power supply is, um, I think it's, I can't remember now, it was years ago since I built this, well, two or three years ago, the negative HT doesn't go straight to earth. Um, it, where, it, where it plugs into the radio here, it doesn't go to deck. It goes through a resistor network and that, that's where the bias comes from. So um, I think it's 6.3 volts LT, was it, or 12 volts, can't remember, whatever, not important. An HT, I don't know, 220 volts, something like that. So uh, you've got coming down the, the lead from the power supply into the Jones plug, you've got like uh, positive HT, negative HT, uh, chassis, and LT. So there we are. Um, yeah, Magic Eye. I'll turn this off actually for a minute. Uh, Magic Eye tuning indicator which works nicely on this one. Um, I've replaced the capacitors in here, done a little bit of work on it. As I say, built the audio amp inside here. Um, and I, I haven't, I've done it, uh, what, do they, what do they say, sympathetically. All right? I haven't wrecked the chassis, I haven't drilled holes everywhere and ripped stuff out. Um, so uh, yes, that, that's that. Might show you inside this one in a minute. Um, when I Oh, we're going back now. When I was 16, I was a member of the local amateur radio club. And we used to meet, was it a Tuesday night? Doesn't matter when it was. And if anyone ever mentioned R1155, there was a sort of hush. And, and, and someone would say, 1155, who said that? Have you bought one? Who's got one? And, oh no, it wasn't that bad, I'm exaggerating. But it was almost like that. These were... The bee's knees, you know, if you have one of these, well, if you didn't have an 1155, you weren't anyone. You had to have an R1155 receiver because they were the ace receivers, uh, the mother of all receivers. <laughs> That's how I, uh, I sort of perceived the whole thing at the radio club. Um, so being 16 or whatever I was, I used to dream about these. Well, I, and at that age, other things, but anyway. <laughs> used to dream about these and I saved up my pennies, my, my measly um, wages. I was a, a radio and TV apprentice so I didn't get a lot in the way of money but I saved up and I got one. Right and I said to a chap at the radio club I've got one and I'm not very happy with it. Do you want to pop round sometime and tell me what you think? I didn't. I thought I was going to hear things on the 1155 that I'd never heard before <laughs> on my other receivers. I had 19 set PCR receiver, CR100, um, what else? I don't know. Oh, the Lafayette receiver I had, which was my favourite that was. Anyway, he came round and he tuned about, oh, perfect. He said, that's perfect, well done, excellent, all this. And I think what it was is, it's not that the receiver wasn't any good. There had been so much hype about the R1155 being the the you know the god of all receivers um, that when I actually got one, I was disappointed, and it's a shame because 
that disappointment has stayed with me ever since I was 16 and I'm now 32 well and a bit so 32 and several hundred months <laughs> was it thousands of months anyway there we are I think also what I didn't like about these was again everyone's gonna say oh no no you're wrong I think they're ugly uh, there's a lot of see a lot of this stuff meter balance meter amplitude uh, meter deflect there's um, aerial sense there's all the DF stuff direction finding stuff involved and I don't know it just seems to be ugly there's no room inside for the power supply they don't come with their own audio amp I'm locking this now I'm going to get emails and I get negative comments now <laughs> as if Google will allow no because you've got to have a Google Plus let's not go into that right Anyway, I'm going to get a load of negative comments on YouTube because people will say these are brilliant. There we are. Well, shall we have a quick look inside? Oh, go on then. Right, sorry if the camera's not too steady. That's the front. Um, let's just have a look inside. There we are. Hang on, the lead's too short. Right, let's move this up. There we are. That's inside. There's, as you see, there's no room for a, a mains power supply or anything like that. Um, I've put a new valve in there. That one in there. Um, there's a valve missing down there. I think that's part of the DF set uh, section. There's the. That's an output transformer I've put in. Yeah, I did drill two holes in there, so I have. Uh, sacrilege totally ruined the thing <laughs> no I put a 6v6 there as the output transformer uh, and the, the the audio there for the now speaker the jack socket there that's all I've done um, I haven't touched the rest of it someone here uh, you can see this is uh, these are decoupling capacitors funny things and there were two here um, huge great things someone's looks like someone's replaced those two wasn't me um, basically as I say I've not done anything to this it's uh, it's just as I got it apart from the, the audio amplifier there just have a quick look underneath not much to see underneath on one of these because you got all this covering up all the, uh, the tune circuits um, so that's it yeah I don't I don't know um, I don't like all this arrangement here, these Jones sockets and things. Um, apparently there were two types. I think this is a later type of tuning mechanism. There was an earlier type that wasn't so good. Um, I, I know you're going to think I'm a miserable old git, but I don't like this type or the other type. And I don't like the dial. <laughs> I don't like anything. Um, no, seriously, it's a, it's a pretty good receiver. Um, I don't know I'm, I'm just not keen on the whole thing the coverage let's have a look I'll just put the camera back because uh, you'll get dizzy watching this wobbling around that's better the frequency coverage is um, what's this 7.5 to 18 megs up the HFN 3 to 7.5 megs and 1600 uh, sorry 600 kilohertz to 1500 200 to 500 then 75 kilohertz to 200 so you've got long wave medium wave um, and basically short wave is 3 to 18 megs which which is okay it um, obviously it doesn't do the trawler band like 2 to 3 megs because it's an aircraft receiver not for ships um, as I said this is the 1155A I'm not going to go into all the explanations of the different types because there are websites dedicated to these all over the internet you'll find information um, so you know you can find out whatever you like how to build the power supply the connections the connections on here you know I'm only showing you this really as part of my receiver collection there we are yeah that's that uh, there's another one there the decoupling capacitors funny how they built them like that there we are so yeah, it's uh, aluminium, of course. Everything's aluminium for the lightweight. Uh, you know, you don't want too much weight in an aircraft. 
of course now there's my 6v6 and the output transformer so that's it that's the r1155 receiver um, so there we are back in back in the cabinet all working um what was i going to say yeah the aerial connection comes out of the jones plug here along with the power supply connections um, there's nowhere, I mean you've got the tuning indicator there, there's nowhere to put an S meter, you know, if you want an S meter. It's single conversion, with all the hype I heard, I thought this was going to be a dual conversion IF, you know, and I thought, uh, I, I don't know what I thought. <laughs> but there we are, it's only single conversion. Um, yes, as I said, you've got long wave and medium wave, which is good. It's actually quite good for a bit of medium wave DXing at night. Um, that's quite good fun. It's a nice, it, it's a nice receiver. I know all I've said about it. I know, <laughs> I know all that. In fact, I said to a radio amateur friend of mine just the other day, uh, I was talking about this, and I said, "Oh, I don't like those." And uh, and he, he said, "What do you mean you don't like them? What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with you, oh, dear?" So, they're a lovely receiver. Look, a lovely piece of kit. Um, yeah. So that's it. I think that was all I was going to say. Um, I've seen these go on eBay. This was the last thing I wanted to say. For, I don't know, is it silly money? Like £250 or more for a decent one. This one isn't too bad, actually. This is quite nice, quite nice quality. It's uh, not been beaten up too much. Uh, the the colour, there are different colours on here. The different colours have faded, obviously, in the sunlight or whenever. But uh, it's not bad. It's reasonably untouched. So um, I'm not that I'm going to sell it, but this is part of my collection. Um, you're going to like this. I've got another four of these. Not in the workshop here. Uh, I might drag those out later. Another four. And I'm thinking of... Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking of doing. I haven't looked at them. They were given to me uh, a long time ago. Um, two of them are scrap, you know, the dial was missing and all sorts missing. The other two, I think two of them are scrap, one's kind of half scrap and there's one that might be sort of complete. So I don't know, I shall have a look. Anyway, now I'm waffling. The R1155, oh by the way, made by Marconi. There we are, made by Marconi. Nice piece of kit, I won't knock it, nice piece of kit. Thanks for watching, bye bye. <laughs>